Kano State. Let me appreciate the mover of this motion. Let me thank you for bringing this motion. I think it is timely. It has come at a time that we need to begin to hold people accountable. And if you look at the quantum of or the amount of money we are talking about, two trillion, which is about one third of the entire budget of the uh, federal government, which is uh, being proposed this year, 2016. And if you translate it in the official rate into a dollar, that will be about ten billion dollar, which is in is not a small money in terms of the content of money, especially when you compare it to even the uh, recent pronouncement by the Indian government of injecting 10 billion into African countries. So for this kind of amount of money to be injected into our economy, by now we should have seen the growth of the economy in terms of growth in GDP, uh, and unemployment should have been reduced, the economic activity should have been stimulated. But again, you begin to put a question mark to whether we are really getting results for these interventions that are there. So I support this motion that we need to investigate these interventions. Uh, we need to, especially when you look at the arrays of uh, interventions that were there, which were more than 10 interventions uh, set aside by CBF. Uh, so we need to see the level of uh, the achievement of these interventions to the economy of Nigeria. So, Mr. Speaker, my honorable colleagues, I urge you to please support this motion uh, so that uh, we can move it and uh, ensure that we investigate the level of uh, the achievement of these interventions by CBN. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.